Today I have with me a 49er who arrived in California in 1849. Can you tell me why you decided to come to California? Well, I heard about all the gold that was found in California and decided to give up my life as a farmer and try my luck with mining for gold. Do you think that was a good decision? Well, I haven't made any money so far, so no. How did you get here? I came on the Oregon Trail. What's it like living here with all the other miners? Honestly, it's not that great. We get into a lot of fights, and there's these groups called vigilantes that act like they're the police. I just hope I find my fortune soon. The idea of gold is so amazing, but I haven't seen that many 49ers actually become rich because of the gold. Thank you for your time today. Thanks. I have to get back to mining now. I have here with me a California who is one of the original settlers in California. Recently, there is a treaty of Guadalupe Hidalgo. What does that mean for you? It means that I am now a citizen of the United States. The treaty also guaranteed me rights to my land. There was also a land law of 1851 which established reviewers to examine the California's land rights. Does this help or harm you? Well, it depends. If somebody tries to claim my land and we go to court and they win, that obviously doesn't help me. But if I win, that means I prove that the land is mine, which does help me. Thank you very much for speaking with me today. I hope you get to keep your land. You're welcome. I hope I get to keep my land, too. Sitting across from me is Levi Strauss. You know him for Levi's Jeans. <laughs> now, Levi, how did the gold rush help you profit from your jean company? Well, with all the people rushing in because of gold, it was pretty easy to sell them. Um, there weren't very many stores, so I could charge pretty much whatever I wanted. Ah, oh, that's right. You're a boomtown merchant. What exactly is a boomtown? Um, the towns that pop up very quickly because of all the people rushing in to find gold in California. Thank you for your time here today, and good luck with your pants company. You're welcome. With me right now is Joseph Smith, the founder of the Mormon Church. Why did you feel the need to create a Mormon Church? I received a vision from God that led me to build a new Christian church in 1830. I heard about that. You also published a book in 1830. What was the name of it, and what was it about? The book was called The Book of Mormon, and it was a translation of words written on golden plates that I received from an angel. It told of the coming of God and the need to build a kingdom on earth to receive it. Where did you originally live, and what caused you to move? I originally lived in western New York, where my neighbors disapproved of the Mormon religion, and they didn't like that I supported the idea of polygamy, or the idea that a man could have more than one wife, so I moved to the town of Commerce, Illinois. And what happened when you were in Commerce? I renamed it Naboo, and it was all going well until I was killed by a mob of local residents. Oh, thank you for your time, and rest in peace. <laughs> Interview. Please give a warm welcome to Brigham Young. <laughs> Start us off by telling you a little bit about yourself, Mr. Young. Well, I guess the most important thing I did was lead the Latter day Saint movement. Uh, I was also president of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter day Saints from 1847 till my death in 1877. Anything else you think is important that you'd like to mention to us? Um, yeah, let's see. Um, I founded Salt Lake City and I was the first governor of the Utah Territory. As well as that, I guess you could say I founded what was the beginning of the University of Utah, and they named another college after me called Brigham Young University. Well, I think that's all, folks, and thank you, Mr. Young, for starting in here tonight. It's a pleasure. Thank you for having me. Give a warm welcome to Brigham Young. <laughs> Thank you. The book was called The Book of Mormon until, um, ah. You're welcome. I hope I get to keep my land, too. Okay. Oh, so yep. Well, I haven't made any money, so... <laughs> uh, <laughs> go. You started... Oh, I'm going? Oh. And for our last interview... <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> you kept laughing. <laughs> you need to calm yourself. And for our last interview, please give a warm welcome to Brigham Young. <laughs> 